Facebookers, how are you all? I hope you're all looking after yourselves and keeping well. Welcome back to the glorious Peak District. This is part three of the Peak of Pilgrimage Trail. This is my friend Steph. If you haven't watched part two and one, I'll leave a card up here now. Please do check those out first. This video will make much more sense if you watch the other bits that come first. So last night we well camped at the uh, Lathkill Hotel behind us. <laughs> <laughs> we were going to wild camp just beyond Bakewell, but we were absolutely cream crackered yesterday and this place just turned up at the right time. And if you follow the three day itinerary from the guidebook, they do recommend Overhaddon as a place to stay. There's a couple of B&Bs in this tiny little village, but we stayed at this one. It cost us £120 for the night, a twin room, en suite and a full English breakfast. A very generous very generous. English breakfast and they had um, Derbyshire oat cakes on the menu as well. Is that what they were called? Yep. Yeah, very, very delicious and tasty. Had a minor issue dropping a hot boiled egg on my lap, which provided a comedy moment during breakfast. Um, yeah, so I would recommend it. I'll leave the details for this hotel in the description box below. Uh, we are shortly going to start descending down towards Bakewell and then up over towards, is it Baslow next? Baslow, um, Kerber, then eventually Enza, maybe. Enza the Enza. small village of Enza, and then we'll finish at Eam much later today. So maybe about 13 miles ahead of us, feeling good. It is raining, but we've got our waterproofs on and we're good to go. You feeling good? Yep, feeling good. Let's hit the trail. It's time to rock up and ramble. Rock up and ramble. Yeah! <laughs> Bakewell Pharmacy is open, thank goodness. Um, we bought some drugs, we're feeling good. <laughs> um, we're paying penitence for all the beer that we drank this week. So yeah, Bakewell Pharmacy, thank you. Let's carry on. <laughs> Welcome to All Saints Church here in the lovely village of Bakewell. And it's time to collect our first stamp on day three. We found our box while by the entrance. And we have a verse from the Gospel of John, chapter 10, verse 10. I have come in order that you might have life, life in all its fullness. And a purple stamp. Hooray! We are now looking for the famous Bakewell pudding. It's a rather busy little town centre, but it's really nice. So we're looking for the Bakewell pudding parlour. I can smell those puddings somewhere. We have found it. Let's go inside and buy some sweet stuff. Yeah. We have our Bakewell puddings bought from the Bakewell pudding parlour just behind us. And they actually bake their Bakewell puddings here in Bakewell in their own bakery. That's a lot of beans, isn't it? Blah, 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 blah. Not more things. And apparently the Bakewell shop opposite, they don't actually bake them on site. So come to this one.
church spire for Enza has just come into view and that's where we're going to stop and have our lunch. I'll see you there in a minute. I really enjoyed that stretch of walking between Bakewell and Enza. Um, as you leave Bakewell, it is quite a steep incline up the bank and then through the golf course into a woodland. That was really nice. And then it was just a nice, gentle walk down with some lovely views over the Chatsworth estate. And now we're here. And this is a lovely little village, some very unique buildings. I imagine it costs quite a lot to, to buy a house here and live here. Unique, very unique. Look at that, all the stone cottages with their sort of blue, blue trimmings. Trimmings? You know what I mean. And we're going to have a, a bit of a break here as well. Good. So we are in the church that belongs to the parish of Enza. And we've got a nice green stamp. St Peter Enza to be precise. And our sticker comes from an Old Testament reading, Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 19. Teach my commandments to your children, talking about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road. There we go. Lovely. And apparently, very famous Kennedy is buried within the grounds of this church. And if I find it, I'll come and show you. In the memory of John F. Kennedy, President of the United States of America, who visited this grave 9th of June, 1963. So we've decided to take a little break here in the um, churchyard, St. Peter's Enza. And I've got a little bottle of pop, some Pepsi. I'm gonna try my Bakewell pudding. I've never had one of these before, so this should be an experience. Should we give it a go? We'll give it a go. I like most things that are pastry, sweets, and cake-like, so it shouldn't be too difficult. <laughs> I like the fact that it's almost like a star shape. I think it was a star, so it's got a bad pack. <laughs> yeah, it's been squished in my bag. Well, put in mm. 10 out of 10. We've now reached Baslow and we've just popped into the um, Pavilion Cafe and I've got myself a rocket. It cost me two pounds, I don't know how I feel about that, but it's nice like refreshment. So here we are at St Anne's in Baslow and we're going to take another stamp, a red one this time. We're going to go in the book, we take a sticker, and that's going to be the book. We have a short scripture reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 20, verse 28. The Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. There's a troll on the bridge.
guidebook, you either get Curb Edge or Grindleford. So low route or the high route. Um, if you do the high route, it doesn't include this one and vice versa, just to make you aware. That's not to say you can't go back and do that section another day. So we've got another blue one, All Saints Church Curber. And you know what I'm going to do next, don't you? Pop that in there. And we have a short scripture reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 17, verse 3. Eternal life means knowing you, the only true God, and knowing Jesus Christ, whom you sent. Lovely. And our next church will be Stony Middleton. Whether it will be open or not at this time of day, we don't know. <sighs> That's the pub that I mentioned earlier. And we're just going to head back the way we came towards Kelver and then back onto the footpath. It's very tranquil here. Lovely section, peaceful. It's 6 p.m. in the evening and unfortunately I can't show you around St. Martin's Church and we can't collect our stamps and stickers because it's closed. No. Unfortunately, there's no way in and there's no porch with a box file. So I've taken down the church warden's phone number and I'll give them a call tomorrow and see if we can swing by. We are in the Peak District for an extra day tomorrow, not hiking, doing other stuff. Um, so there might be an opportunity to have a pop inside then. The boundary stone acted as a marker separating the residents of the plague-affected village of Eam from the non-affected villagers of Stony Middleton in 1665. It is here during a plague that money soaked in vinegar believed to kill the infection was placed by villagers of Eam in exchange for food and medicinal supplies. There's my little mini, where I parked up on Monday. And then Steph drove us to Island, where we started. And we're reaching the 35 mile point, just about now. They're ringing the bells! I'm so happy! It's been a tough one, you know? But a good one. Let's get our stamp and sticker! Got a red one for St. Lawrence Eam. And our chapter is chapter 5, verses 7 and 8 from Romans. Very rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, though for a good person someone might possibly dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love for us while we are still sinners. Christ died for us. And you know what's really nice? We get a certificate. It's lovely. That's going on the fridge. And we get to put our names in the completion book. Aha! I didn't know this was it, so that's a nice little uh, way to finish the trail. If you've watched this video, I just want to say thank you so much. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions about the Peak Pilgrimage or the Hope Peak hope pilgrimage that we did back in may please do contact me or leave a comment below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can and i hope this video will inspire you to do more long distance walks maybe this one and just get out there enjoy the countryside explore take that next step and don't forget guys rock up and ramble see you on another adventure very soon take care and god bless day after the pilgrimage and as we were driving back through Stony Middleton we thought we might have a second go at St Martin's Church and it's open. It's uh, 10 to 2 in the afternoon. It's uh, yeah, a small church, um, very bright and light, um, nice enough. So we collected the last stamp from here as well. 
So even though it does say that it's open from 10 a.m. till dusk, um, you might want to get here a bit earlier than that. But yeah, that's all the stamps collected from the low route of the Peak Pilgrimage Trail. Happy days. Mm -hmm.